So our spark had asked us to explain to you something that she was laughing about with one of you recently, which is, we are to God as you are to us, as your dreams are to you. We have expressed this before. We wish to share with you a perspective of this statement. We have each of us been born from love, the energy of love. Once there was only the energy of love, and then the energy of love became a little more dense here, a little more dense here, until intelligence and form, collectives, beings, individuals all started to coalesce. The original source of love has created us all, and we have evolved to go from microbes of love to entire civilizations. When you humans were born, you were given creativity, imagination, and dreaming, sleeping dreams, and waking daydreams. These dreams are where your imagination can play with things, where memories may be stored, and where you may connect with wherever and whomever. Your dreams are important to you. You enjoy them, but you know eventually you awaken and you are in this life and this is the life that has your challenges. But when you die, you come and visit us and we have documented your life. We interview you after your death to review your life and make sure we have documented correctly to make sure you understand and what happened in your life. So this is when you awaken from the dream that is your life to return to your real life, which is your soul. We document for you, we teach you, we are your teachers. And among your teachers, but we are accountable to the source that is love when we are unsure with our research, we return to the source and backtrack to the situation for all things originated in source, in love. And so we can follow the timelines all the way to source, check our facts and details, and then go back again from source to the situation so we are accurate with our data. But we know that eventually all of us, your souls, we, everyone, will have evolved to the point where we are pure love, at which point we become one with our beginning, with pure love, but we are pure love with much more volume and experience and skill and depth and interesting energies and evolved love. Eventually, all of us will return back to the light from which we came, for we are the dream of the source 
of love. So when you are unsure about who you are or what you are, you may remember you are the dream of the purest source of love. You are an aspect of love. If love has created all of this, you have within you the ability to tap into your eternal love and create whatever you wish. Our sessions with you are not to teach you that you can, they are to teach you that you are already connected, that you could have all along if you just truly believed. What stands between you and your belief are karmic lessons to be resolved, an adventure or series of adventures that take you closer and closer to your state of being one with love. Even if you are in this life, living your life of ups and downs and ins and outs, you may still tap within your pure state within you, for we each have it. If you learn to travel timelines like us, you may travel your timeline closer and closer and closer, as close as you can get, depending on your energy and concentration within this life. You may find yourself like us, journeying all the way to the original source of love then you will realize that is you. So what is here to hold you back? Do we have questions on this? No, it's unbelievably illuminating. Illuminating is the perfect word. For certainly you are, we are each of us, just aspects of the divine.